Hello, it's Carol. I'm going to show you five different ways to select objects uh, that you're working with, whether it's in Word, Excel or PowerPoint. I'm working in Excel at the moment and these three circles with text boxes in need to be moved down. So I'm going to show you there's various ways I can uh, do that. Uh, the first way is I can select one of the objects and hold control down from the keyboard. And when I hold control down, I then have the option uh, of selecting the other objects that I want to move. So I'll just continue to select. So that's one method, using control. The other way you can use control, if I select the first object and then I choose control and A off the keyboard, that will select all the objects on that particular sheet. Um, so if you want to do that, that's what you'd use. Um, if I the other method is on the home tab, you've got find and select. Um, one thing you can do is use the go to command shortcut for that's control and G. But if I hit go to, I get the go to dialog box and at the bottom, there's a special button. So go into that and on these options here, you've got one called objects at the bottom. If I select it and hit OK, it's going to select all of the objects in my sheet, my worksheet. Uh, the other way, again, in Find and Select, so on the Home tab, Find and Select, you've got Select Objects and you've got Selection Pane. Let me do Selection Pane first. And what that will do is open a pane on the right hand side and it's listing all the objects in this sheet. So you can see there's rectangle shapes, there's a picture, um, there's oval shapes, there's text boxes. So if I wanted to select the three oval shapes, I would select, uh, select the first one and I'd have to hold control down to select anything else I wanted. And you can see while I'm selecting them here, they're actually selected here. And once you've selected them, you do what you want with them. So that's the other way you can select objects. This one's particularly useful if you've got objects that are layered and you can't select one of the objects because it's behind um, several other objects or another object and you can't select it from here. Using this selection pane um, will be the solution for that. So I'm just going to close that selection pane down. And last but not least is select objects, that button there. Um, it's already actually selected, but that if it's not, because you can see it's slightly depressed, I don't mean it's got a, a sad mood. <laughs> uh, but that's what you'd select is select objects. And when you do select that, this is by far my favourite. It means that I can then um, select um, a rectangle around the objects that I want in my selection and it'll pick them up. Um, now I've done that, I'm actually going to move these objects down just by using the cursor on my keyboard. So it's these little things that just save you time when you're working. Um, so I hope that's been helpful to you. Any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thank you for watching.